Hey there, fellows. You've seen us make tires out of many different materials, like out of caulk, out of ice, rubber mulch, concrete, and so many others. But for this episode, I suggest we use a glue gun to make a tire. I've got the glue gun, let's get to it. Okay, guys, I've gone out and purchased some glue. And this should be more than enough to make us four lovely wheels. I got the glue from a place where you can buy it in bulk. You can buy enough to make a car out of it even. Like the one I own. But we have got four bags of glue. And now we're going to try and make a wheel using a glue gun. Though I have to say I am a bit concerned. Something tells me this might take a while. But we won't know until we try. So let's give this a try and see what happens. We weld a strip of metal to this rim. That's to save us time and energy. So look here. So far we've prepared one of the wheels. We've welded on a rim. Now it's just a matter of applying the glue. Already we can see that this is going to take a while. I got a job at Garage 54. And I thought I'd be building flying cars or watercraft, but in reality, this is my third day working on this wheel. Check this out, guys. Even though we've got the wheel on a balancing machine, making it easy to rotate, but that glue gun, even though it's a pretty good piece of kit, that's a thin stream, and this turned out to be a slow and tedious process. Believe me, we've been at this for a few days now. And it looks like we've still got many days of work ahead of us. Now, to cast three more of these, we'll use wheels with tires mounted on them to save us some time. We'll start by cutting out this bit, removing it, and pouring the glue straight into the tire. Okay, guys, so we've established that using a glue gun to make a tire, I mean, it was pretty obvious that it'd take a while, and so, instead, this is what we're doing. It's a simple and reliable solution, a reservoir, we've made a fire, there's glue in there, and those are the wheels. And that is how we're going to make these, because, well... This isn't even slightly faster, this is going significantly faster. So let's continue casting, and then we can go do some testing, let's go. So look guys, this is the wheel we've extracted from the tire, and it looks really cool. Also I have to say that this glue is really sticky. And here we have the one made with the glue gun. You'd recall that it was taking very long, which is why we resorted to a different method, 
Though this does have a more funhouse sort of look to it. It's all curly, just like I used to be back in school. <laughs> but yeah, these are the wheels. A few finishing touches will be required. But then it's time for testing. From what I can tell so far, with how sticky they are, I think they'll perform very well and have plenty of grip. We'll find that out in due time. For now, let's carry on. Okay, the gluey wheels are on there, and the car's got such a fun look. And uh, let me tell you something about the wheels that we cast. The one up front we obviously glue gunned, but look at how this one right here has settled. That indentation while the glue was hot, but as it was cooling down it shrunk, and there's the result. And no big deal. I don't see this being an issue, and with that, let's get to the testing, let's go. Starting the engine. Excellent. The biggest potential hazard here would be if the glue starts to crumble as soon as the car gets moving, with all of the wheels falling to little pieces without doing anything for us. Hooray, we are rolling. It drives and that is very good. Right, as soon as we got moving, I felt the car start to hobble. I mean, of course, they wouldn't be even. But then the ones we cast should be smooth. Still, the car is hobbling slightly, but no worries. Well, at least they didn't fall apart. We can relax slightly. Good stuff. But these are just the initial tests. We want to drive around slowly to see how they behave. See how well the glue is sticking to the wheels. And now the interesting part. I, of course, would like to press the brake to determine how much... how much grip there is and how much stopping power the car has. Is there any grip at all? There is, and that is good. And with how well this is going, let's get up to speed. I am fairly confident with how sticky these are, that they'll stick well to the pavement. The car should drive very well. Now, before we had a go with the car sitting on regular tires, and the time it took for it to accelerate to 40 kilometers an hour was 4.98 seconds. We can call it 5 for good measure. Now let's see how it does on these tires, let's go. Here we go. A bit of wheel spin in second. 6.12, that's not bad. Those are good results for Glow. It actually grips, that is so nice. So now we know that these tires grip. But now we need to try and see how well these behave under braking. And braking is not the same thing as accelerating. It's a completely different game. On the regular tires, the car came to a stop from 40 kilometers an hour in 10 meters. And now let's see what the stopping distance will be from 40 kilometers an hour, but on these gluey tires, let's go. Okay, now let's check the stopping distance from 40. Oh, holy cow! I didn't have as much fun accelerating as I just did braking. I mean...
And it's pretty warm to the touch. Isn't that something? It has gotten slightly warm. What about this one? And this one as well. These are getting warm. And the entire way around. I guess they get warm while the car is moving. Look at the pebbles sticking to the glue and the craters they're leaving. Now let's check by how much the stopping distance has increased. I mean, we can already tell that it is visibly longer. Holy cow, 15 meters. So that's a 50% increase compared to regular tires. In any case, so that's the result. Now, as you might know, we've made several attempts in the past to make puncture-proof tires. And now I want to try driving over some nails with these gluey tires. In theory, any puncture should heal straight away. But let's see if that's actually the case. I think the plank got stuck to the rear wheel. A few screws are missing. Oh, holy cow! You've got one, two, three of them in there. So not only do pebbles stick to it, these are also self-studding. Isn't that a neat trick? Now let's see them tackle obstacles. Right here I have got me this brick. And let's simulate a situation where we either hit a rut or an object. Let's go. I didn't feel too hard of an impact. Obviously, the front wheel would have taken the brunt of it. But at the end of the day, it didn't even seem to mind. These are holding together well. Even though we did have concerns that they'd fall apart. With this being plastic. But in reality, they're holding together beautifully. Now, there's a good reason for me driving up to the curb. I don't know how well the fronts are going to grip, though so far these have been performing wonderfully. Yeah, they are doing very well. And now I suggest we take this up a notch and do a burnout. Let's go. Wait a second. Yo, my, oh my. That's pretty horrendous. Didn't get too hot, though. I would like to touch that mess over there. But this is pretty happy to melt. Which tells us that it is quick to heat up. A bunch of the glue has been removed. That's quite a significant amount. Not even scraped off, but rather melted off. And the interesting thing is that the outer layer was melted off. And I got the impression that the car was no longer hopping. The tires sort of self-stabilized, I guess. Which is pretty neat. Now I want to find out how these perform during spirited driving. How confident you can be taking corners. How well you can control the thing. And so now I suggest we drive a bit faster and more aggressively. See how the car is able to handle. You can definitely feel, I mean, the rear end is later after all. They seem to have warmed up. Oh, 
there goes the grip. They literally have no grip. I think it might have fallen apart. Yo! My oh my, holy cow. Sheared clean off. And all of the plates that we welded on have also separated. Will you look at that? Holy cow. That is mighty impressive. Come here. It is very warm. There's a lot of heat in it. And check this out. It's nice and pliable. Just like an actual tire. As soon as they got slightly warm, drops started separating from them. You saw how the car washed out, right? Yeah, and the fronts got warm, oh yeah, they did as well, and oh my goodness. You got boogers coming out of those too. Yeah, I felt the loss of traction going left. The glue was getting soft, and uh, chunks of it were separating. Look at this, and all of it is soft. So the glue is getting very warm up front as well. Look at that, holy cow. So the gluey tires actually did surprisingly well. They eat up impacts. As expected, they melt during a burnout. But they've got decent grip. And the car did well with both acceleration and braking. And so yeah, I'd say this one went pretty well. You guys saw it all. Overall, this one has been a success. And that's it for this video. Catch you guys later.